Hey, this is Mr. Reeve, and today I'm going to make a video on in LS 2.4 showing you how to move around a car not using the arrow keys but using the ASW and D keys. We're also going to add a speed up feature when you hold down the space. So let's get started. Um, we'll just add this car, it's in the vehicles. And that's what we'll drive around. We'll rotate this so it's pointing away from us to start. And maybe we'll have a attach um, the camera to be the vehicle. Er, the camera's vehicle can be the car so we can we can drive around with the car. And that'll be good. So the first thing we want to do is we want to... Um, actually, first of all, let me explain why we're doing this. Wh when you ha um, create... Uh, if you want the car to move, you can always just say let the arrows move the car. The problem with that is you don't, it's very limited. You just have the arrows, you can't really customize, you can't customize the speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down so that we see what key is being pushed, W, A, S, or D, and we're going to give it the car um, the proper direction and the proper speed. This allows us to control the speed uh, much more, much better. Um, before we begin, let's attach the camera's vehicle to the car. Okay, so now when the car moves it'll drive around. So we create event, we say when, when a key is typed. Now when a key is typed has a little bit of a problem is that it tells you when the key is typed but it doesn't necessarily know when it's being held down. It just keeps saying key is type, key is type, key is typed and it keeps doing whatever you want it to do. But it's much better to respond to when a key is held down. The way you do that is you right click on this when and you say change to while a key is pressed down. Now we want, let's do the W key first. Say while the W key is pressed. Now there's a begin, during, and an end. Um, we are only going to use the during, but say you want it to make a personal walk you might have the begin, have the person like lift its one knee, the during would be the person walking, and then the end would have the both legs come back to um, the standing position. But for our purposes right now, we're just going to use the during. Now what do we want to do during the during? Well, we really want to just make the car move. Now you, you can use the car methods, and you could just drag it up here. But it's better to have a method for this. And because it's going to be a method for the car, then let's make a new method for the car. So we're actually going to make a few. Well, the first one we're going to make is called forward. And in this forward method, all we want to do is move the car forward. And we choose how much, like, f you know, five meters. We can see how that is. And then in the during for W, we just drag in the forward. If we want to make any changes, we never really have to touch this events anymore. We can just make the changes in car forward. So let's play it and see what happens. I'm going to hit W and hold it down. Now you'll notice that the car goes forward, stops, forward, stops, forward, stops. And that's not ideal because I was just holding down the W key. Um, the reason that is is because we didn't make the style abrupt. So if we make it abrupt, we have much smoother driving. So again, I'm going to hold down W. And now it's better. Now it's a little bit slow. But that's all right. Okay, so we actually just want to make one of these for each direction. And it's probably best if we have the car turn right or turn left and then move backwards. So I'm just going to make a few of these. Create a method backwards. We'll just call this one right and left. Back ones, the backward one is easy. 
and at five meters. The right one, we'll just say turn right. I'm not sure how much we we're gonna have to see how much. Let's start with maybe 0.2. And for the left, we'll have the car turn left. Uh, same thing, 0.2. Now we made all of the methods, which is great, but now we need to link them to the keys. So we just create another event when a key is typed, right click, change to while a key is typed, and let's do the S key. The S key will be backwards, so we just dra drag in car backwards. Another one, when a key is typed. We, this time we'll do the A key and A would be left drag in left and last one would be the D key and the D would be right. So let's try it out, see how everything works. So forward works, backward works, right, left. Now they're all doing that pause thing, so we have to go into all of them and make them abrupt, left, right, backwards. Okay, so let's try that again. So forward, backwards, right, left. Right and left might be a little bit sensitive. So let's just take the right and left, make it 0.1 revolution. And try it once more. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we've just successfully made the car move with the ASWD keys, which is uh, much more customizable than using the arrow keys. Uh, if we want it to, we could actually link um, the speed to a variable, and, and maybe that's what we should do right now. Uh, the reason we might want to do this is maybe we'll want to hold down the space and have a, uh, a speed up or something like that. So I think the best way to do this is to use a variable. We've used variables before. Now we have to think about a variable. It Does the variable affect the whole world? Is it part of the whole world or is it just part of the car? In this case it's part of a single object, the car. So let's make a variable for the car. So if we go to properties it says create a new variable. We haven't used variables a lot. Variables are just used to store something. What we might, what we're going to want to do here is we are going to want uh, a variable called speed. It's going to be a number. That's good. And it's going to have a default value, this is when it first starts up, of 5. So now what we can do is this speed variable here. Um, instead of going forward and backwards 5, we can actually put forward and backwards speed. We'll leave the turn right and left they probably shouldn't really speed up. Well, we can see. It's kind of thing. Sometimes when you speed them up, they get a little... It's too hard to control the car if you speed up the turning. So Now let's... What we really want to do... So functionality right now is exactly the same. So forward, back, right, left. All we did was link the speed to a variable. And now essentially what we want to do is if we, if we t hit... If we're holding the space bar then we want to have the speed increase and as soon as we let go of the spacebar then we want to make the speed decrease. So one way we could do that is create an event when a key is typed and actually we can probably change it to while a key is pressed and we'll choose the space and at the beginning of when the key is pressed, so that when it's pressed down, what we could do is we could change the speed variable, and we could maybe change it to, um, let's say, 8. And now, 
the trick is when we let the space go we want to make the speed go back to 5 let's see if that works okay so I'm not holding the space I'm just driving around I'm gonna hold the space we go faster I let go of the space we go slower again now let's make it even more drastic let's make this like 12 okay play okay so I hold down the W I'm gonna add the space we go faster we let it up we go slower There's a bit of a lag um, I'm thinking that's because its style needs to be abrupt as well oh, oh I know why it's not the style it's the duration Oh, false seconds. No, it's already set to zero seconds. So that shouldn't make any difference. So it just seems like there's a little bit of a, a lag when we push the uh, space bar down. Well, let's do that again. Yes. Um, I think what is hap actually happening is... Uh, yeah, actually, I know exactly what's happening when we go forward and backwards we keep repeating this the problem is this duration is set to one second so that means that if you push the space and you've just begun a one second go go forward five meters then you have to wait until that second's complete before it'll change the speed one way that we can fix this up then so this is a working uh, program but it's kind of delayed what we can do instead is why don't we have the speed be one and we'll make the duration of forwards and backwards 0.2 this will be more responsive so speed duration 0.2 okay so we go a lot smaller of amount only one one unit uh, but we do it in a duration of much quicker so that's actually going to have the same effect and now when we push the spacebar down we want it to speed up to a value of let's say th 2 and when we got let go of the spacebar we're going going to go back to a speed value of 1 so let's see how this looks yeah that's much more responsive so as soon as i push it it changes the speed and so now we can have uh maybe like a little two-player game cops and robbers or something like that and maybe we could both be chasing an item when the first one hits it maybe uh, they win the game or something like that or maybe uh, it's a car chase one one player chases the other player so I think that's it for the tutorial today